All right, well, good morning to everybody. Thank you all for being here. My name is Dr. Trevon Fordham, and I'm the director for the City of Columbia Office of Violent Crime Prevention. And today we are gathered here for another great day in the City of Columbia to talk about a very important cause, which is safe and secure firearm storage. As we highlight that important topic today, we've got partners to my left, to my right, and also out in the audience, who will share uh, not only some uh, important information, but their role when it comes to this partnership with Be Smart. Now, we do have representatives here from Be Smart, as you can see, and so I'll allow them to share a lot more about their organization. But as we gather here today, although we're from different organizations, different entities, we're all united together for one cause, which is we want to keep our children safe, and we want to promote and encourage safe and secure firearm storage. Today marks the kickoff of the first annual National Smart Week, which runs from August 26th to August 30th. National Smart Week is part of a broader campaign across the United States to bring the importance to safe gun storage and to prevent gun violence. As we move forward and we talk about safe gun storage, I personally would like to say that it's the commitment from not only our office, the Office of Violent Crime Prevention, everyone here at the City of Columbia, because there is a long-standing relationship with Be Smart and other partners here. That relationship dates back years and includes a Lock It Up Columbia campaign, which our very own Councilwoman Dr. Bustles will speak more about. The Midlands Be Smart chapter was formalized and has the participation of numerous partners to include the City of Columbia, nine Midland school districts, 16 law enforcement agencies, Richland County, as well as four hospital systems. That's a lot of partners, y'all. And that's what it's all about, is partners coming together, working together to spread the message. Today, as I said earlier, you will hear from several partners who will share their part of Be Smart's mission. But before you hear from them, you'll hear from Sarah Venn herself, who is a Be Smart volunteer. Sarah. Thank you. My name is Sarah Venn, and I'm a mother of four daughters, and I'm a volunteer at Be Smart. Today, as we launch Smart Week, we stand together to demonstrate the power of a community-wide effort to protect children against gun violence. In December 2021, a group of Midland school districts, law enforcement agencies, and hospital systems formed a partnership with Be Smart, an educational program that promotes secure gun storage as a means to prevent kids under 18 and unauthorized users from accessing guns. The partners, partners formed a task force who has worked together on many initiatives to help reduce gun violence in our schools and communities and promote the education of our community on the principles of Be Smart securing all guns in your homes and vehicles, modeling responsible behavior around guns, asking about the presence of unsecured firearms in other homes your child visits and in vehicles they ride, and recognizing the role of guns in suicide and telling your peers to be smart. Together, we are encouraging adults in the Midlands to take these simple steps to protect our children and communities. We want to express our appreciation to our Midlands Be Smart partners, including School districts, Richland 1, Richland 2, Lexington 3, Lexington 4, Lexington Richland 5, Orangeburg, Sumter, Fairfield, Fairfield and Calhoun, Hospital Systems Prisma Health Midlands and Toomey, and MUSC Midlands and Orangeburg, and law enforcement agencies of Richland County, Lexington County, Fairfield County, Sumter County, Orangeburg County, Calhoun County, Winsboro, Swansea, Gaston, North, Sumter, Columbia, Irmo, and Forest Acres. We would like to thank our valuable partners at this moment for playing their role in spreading this important message. We are so thankful for the leadership of Mayor Daniel Rickman in establishing the city's Office of Violent Crime Prevention and Director Trayvon Fordham for organizing today's events and Smart Week activities. We appreciate all the efforts that Chief Holbrook is doing to keep your community safe and the plans Columbia Police Department has to share the Be Smart message. We would like to thank our school districts who have been sharing the message in social media and through parent communication apps and for inviting us to present a table at community events so that we can tell families to be smart. 
We would like to thank the Richland County Sheriff's Department for creating the video on secure storage using cable locks and trigger locks and for sharing the Be Smart message on their social media. We also want to thank Lexington Police Department and Forest Acres Police Department for inviting us to their events and allowing us to distribute materials and gun locks. We are extremely indebted to Prisma Health Midlands and other hospital partners for providing funds for all the resources, including printed, mater printed materials, magnets, and gun locks. With their support, we have distributed tens of thousands of B-Smart materials, more than 5,000 gun locks, and about 40,000 fridge magnets with a B-Smart me message to elementary school families in our partnership, with a, and flyers with a secure storage message in vehicles. We also want to thank Serve and Connect for their strong partnership. Our success is shown when the father learns that storing his gun at the top of his closet is not secure storage, and when he says he will get a gun safe. When a mom learns to ask about unsecured guns in her children's carpool, or when we speak to someone that has a teen going through a mental health crisis and they consider storing, st securely storing their guns so that an impulsive decision cannot be made. These are all real examples of the power of the Be Smart message of secure storage that have happened here in the Midlands. Before 2022, Columbia was number three in the nation for stolen guns from vehicles. However, our partners have widely shared the Be Smart message here in the Midlands, and in 2022, Columbia dropped to 28 in the nation. In other areas in the state and nation where the Be Smart message is not widely shared, the number of guns stolen from vehicles continues to climb. This is a testament to the combined efforts of our work in the Midlands. This shows that a smart city is a safer city. During Smart Week, we will continue to work with our partners to share the Be Smart message through our communities to reach more people and ensure that secure gun storage practices become the norm in our communities, especially as kids return to their classrooms. If you would like to join our efforts, please contact at midlandsbesmart at gmail.com. Let us continue to be smart to keep our communities safe. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Next, we will hear from Chief Skip Holbrook of the Columbia Police Department. Good morning. Good morning to our Be Smart partners, um, great advocates. Thank you for this partnership. Um, what a wonderful way to start a Monday to hear um, the very positive reduction in, in gun theft from vehicles and I, I think that effort um, um, is a very positive sign. Um, I thank council, mayor and council for having the courage to pass some um, ordinances that um, um, really bring awareness to the importance of securing your weapons safely um, and not leaving them in unlocked cars. Sheriff Montgomery, thank you for being here. Chief Dale, um, thank you. You know, um, one of the reasons that we, I think, are seeing these results and bringing awareness to this important um, subject is the partnerships that we, the law enforcement partnerships we have here in the Midlands. Um, we really, um, we work so closely together. Our messaging is so similar. Our efforts are, are, are similar. And I think it's, we're seeing the fruits of those efforts. Um, our, our gun lock program, uh, Dr. Bustles um, has uh, championed that um, over the, you know, last 18 months, and there's no community event we go to that we don't we don't go in tow with our our gun lock um, program and advocating for safe storage, securing your weapons, but um, um, most importantly, um, we've got to continue to this con um, to over uh, communicate the importance of not leaving firearms and vehicles unsecured. Um, we often talk about losing a generation of gun violence. Um, efforts such as um, Be Smart is exactly how we change that narrative. Um, we know the availability of firearms in the hands of our young adults and our, our children can be disastrous. Um, they make emotional decisions in split seconds to uh, resolve conflict with a gun, or they come across an unsecured gun and, um, and have accidental discharge, and it, it can change lives forever. Um, not just the person that's the victim of gun crime, but families and friends and siblings, it's, um, it's horrific. 
So thank you for um, partnering with us for this very important cause. Um, I, th I think um, the uh, folks that are standing up here today is a testimony that this is um, a uh, requires significant partnership and and I think um, I'm just very proud to be part of this group. Thank you. Next up, we'll hear from our very own Councilwoman Dr. Bustles. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you all. And as I was reflecting on our work, uh, you know, one of the things that Mayor and I have often talked about is people often look to the city to lead on addressing some of the root causes of why violence is occurring in our communities. And I always remind folks that while we can't do it all, we can certainly do our part. And I think that the message that you've heard today with some of the progress we made in terms of lost and stolen uh, firearms, some of the continued realignment in our work as a community, our organizations coming together, is very much a testament to the innovative ways in which we as a city have sought to address those root causes, whether it's starting the Office of Violent Crime Prevention, whether it's passing the first ever ordinance in South Carolina that addressed uh, reporting your lost or stolen firearm, or whether it's the Lock It Up campaign. And so I just wanted to remind you all that the Lock It Up Columbia campaign is an opportunity for us to come out and again, continue to teach our community about the importance of firearm storage. We do have free gun locks and uh, CPD as well as our, our other city staff are more than happy to come out to your event. We know that none of this work is possible without us partnering and coming together. And so we hope that you'll take advantage of this initiative as we continue to use different ways and approaches to address gun violence in our community. Thank you. Now we will hear from the founder and CEO of Servant Connect, Ms. Cassie Aaliyah Ray. Good morning. Um, it's a uh, an honor to be here with you all and in support of Smart Week with our Be Smart friends and so many amazing partners. Uh, thank you so much, Mayor Rickman, Councilwoman Bustles, for your leadership in this effort, and Mr. Fordham. I stand up here today as the CEO of Serve and Connect, but more importantly, as the wife and widow of Officer Greg Alia, who was tragically taken by gun violence nearly nine years ago on September 30th of 2015. You know, Friday would have been Greg's 41st birthday. We celebrated his birthday with a pinata and far too much candy for my kids. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we wished Greg a happy birthday in the heavens. And we waited until the sun went down because Sal, our son who turned six months old the day that Greg was killed, said that he wanted to wait for the stars to shine because there are tiny holes poking through heaven. And he wanted that message to reach Greg directly. I may seem like an unlikely survivor of gun violence up here, the widow of a police officer, but over the past nine years, I have had both the honor and the privilege to get to know far too many other survivors of gun violence, hearing their stories of love and loss, sharing consolation and love and care with each other. And I have been blown away by the advocacy that I have seen from these true survivors, their resilience and their determination, even though their loved one had been taken from them too soon, how they stand in the gap to prevent other lives from being lost. I have also had the privilege to work with many great partners, uh, many of them who are here today, but especially with Be Smart. We have been at many events together. They are a standard at our community events, handing out gun locks and educating the community. And we've also gone into other efforts to find other ways to educate. And so one example I want to share with you is uh, this past June in one of our partner uh, coalitions called the Decker Collective right off of Decker Boulevard, we were talking as a group to say, all right, June is Gun Violence Prevention Month. How can we work together to raise more awareness and Mary Marisavich, our partner with Be Smart, who has been a dedicated founding member of the Decker Collective, led an effort with the support of Prisma Health and Richland County Sheriff's Department to develop a flyer that would be distributed throughout the community, raising awareness of opportunities for uh, gun safety and a gun, a safe gun 
protection. And we together distributed a thousand flyers throughout the community raising awareness and also went on the news to promote this initiative. And something I want to highlight here is, I learned just recently, Mary's dedication, how often she shows up at events, all the work that she does in the community, I thought that was her full-time job, but it's not. She's a volunteer dedicating her time because she cares not only for her children, but for all of our children. And she is a beautiful example, along with the many other dedicated people who serve through Be Smart, about how it takes all of us standing in that gap that we all play a role in preventing gun violence. And Servant Connect is such a proud partner with Be Smart. And me, as a widow, survivor of gun violence, I am so thankful for everything you all do. And thank you to the City of Columbia for recognizing their important efforts. Thank you. Before we move further with any other speaker, I want to take another moment for us to just pause and reflect. And as we pause and we reflect, let's again give the volunteers from Be Smart, the volunteers from Be Smart, another round of applause and recognize the work that they do with the partners that are here today. Thank you. Now we will hear from Ms. Laura Peck, who from the Injury and Prevention Coordinator at Prisma Health. Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Laura Peck. I'm the Injury Prevention Coordinator at Prisma Health Midlands. And as our level one trauma center in the Midlands, we see uh, gunshot wound patients coming in nearly every day. And so this is something where we said, what can we do about this? Um, aside from our injury prevention efforts um, on our partnerships with Be Smart, Serve and Connect, law enforcement, the schools, um, uh, this is our, our space and we do have a role in this. So we are happy to provide education materials, gun locks to share with our partners um, and provide to the public as well and also to our patients. Uh, we are, will be uh, very soon starting in our patient practices. So our providers will be asking about firearm safety and this falls under the realm of home and family safety and injury prevention. So this is just one more space where we can ask these questions. Are you storing and securing your firearms properly? And if not, would you like a gun lock? Would you like some education? Do you want to talk to your provider about firearm safety? So that is just one more place and uh, where we can ask these questions and have a safe conversation about firearm safety. So we are happy to do our part. We're so excited for the partnerships that we have and look forward to um, things that are coming in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. As we talk about changing mindsets, changing behaviors, that definitely starts with education. Uh, so now I will welcome to the podium Dr. Tony Hemingway, who's the superintendent of Fairfield County School District. Thank you and good morning. It gives me great pleasure to bring you greetings from Fairfield County School District. In Fairfield County School District, our school board has a high expectation for student learning and for student safety. And as a part of our commitment to our students and our citizens in Fairfield County, we partner with agencies to ensure that our students are learning and that our students are safe. And one of those partnerships is with our local law enforcement, our, our sheriff, Sheriff Montgomery is here, and in partnership with the Be Smart Task Force, we believe in providing our students with those educational opportunities to learn how to keep themselves safe when it comes to guns and, and gun violence. One of the things we're looking forward to in Fairfield County is a partnership with the Be Smart Task Force to educate our parents and to educate our community at large about the safety of gun storage and making sure that violence is kept away from our students. So again, I'm thankful for the partnerships that we have and for our board's commitment and our dedicated focus of our students learning and making sure that our students stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hemingway. Uh, next, we will hear from the Director of Student Services from the Orangeburg County School District, Mr. Hayward Jean, John? John. Great morning, great morning, great morning. I am Haywood John, Director of Student Services, Orangeburg County School District. 
And on behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Sean Foster, our amazing school board, the entire senior cabinet and cabinet of our school district, I think it's safe to say that Be Smart is not a program, but it's a movement. It's a movement. I personally, along with our superintendent and many educators, have been to far too many funerals of our students. And it's time to start going to more birthday parties, more graduations, even more weddings. In our district, our mission is this, to help students discover and develop their person, purpose, and platform. What that means is helping students understand who they are, why they exist, and what they're going to do about it. But how can a child find out who they are if they do not exist? One thing that we're seeing is that our children are no longer existing because of the simple things of not being considered enough and responsible enough to lock and store guns safely. So as a school system, we're all about being educators. In our same mission, we're about nurturing the physical, academic, and social and emotional well-being of our children. Well, in doing that, we've been blessed by this partnership. And I'm telling you, when we do those meetings in that partnership, it's all action-oriented. It's all solution-oriented. I mean, when we're meeting, it's not about walking the, it's not about talking the talk. It's really more about walking the walk. It's always about what are we going to do? In our partnership, we've been blessed to help with the National Day of Concern, where all our students, again, we're educators, all our students are involved in gun safety pledges and committing to ensuring that we're not going to touch a gun, they're not going to be involved in gun activity. But not only that, we've been blessed to partner with community agencies who also see the importance of gun safety and locking and storing guns safely, safely as well. Be Smart and I have personally walked hand in hand in, in parades by individuals in our community who also understand the importance. I think about a mother, Courtney Hunter, and the loss of her six-year-old son, Winston Hunter, remember the name, Winston Hunter, who was doing exactly what he was supposed to do. And guns, gun violence, struck him tragically. And this mother decided not to just be somebody who's going to talk about it, she has used her pain and turned it into purpose. And so Be Smart, our school district has also partnered with her to ensure that his name is heard and that the mission of ensuring that students are safe, that communities are safe, is heard around the world. We've also been partnering with Michelle Green in Reclaiming Our Youth Initiative, which has also been a great partnership in ensuring that our students are safe. Y'all, we've lost too many children to gun violence, and we can't lose any more. So as educators, one thing that we also do is we provide mentoring in our schools to ensure that not only are our children safe from guns in their houses, but they're also safe from the fear of guns because they're not locked and stored properly. So with this, we're also ensuring that through the glorification of the mainstream media with guns talked about, rapped about, danced about, it is becoming an appealing and attractive thing for children, so much so that they want guns now to even be cool. So with that, y'all, it has increased the urgency for us to be intentional about ensuring that our students are safe from guns not being locked and stored properly. Again, we've lost too many children, and we cannot afford to lose any more. And as a school district, we are committed to ensuring that this movement is consistent, constant, and strong in our communities and in the state of South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we will have uh, Dr. Craig Witherspoon, Superintendent for Richland School District 1. Good morning. Again, I can't speak enough on behalf of Richland School District 1, the power of partnership and the partnership that we're celebrating and recognizing today. As has been previously said, the impact of, of gun violence is widespread. It touches those that we don't even think about the families, the extended families, the classmates, all of those things. So as we've been a part of Be Smart from uh, the very beginning, it is so very, very impactful. And just imagine everybody up here and some agencies that are not uh, uh, here today, all singing from the same sheet of music, how impactful that is. And how do we spread that message across our community and across our state and across our country? And in Richmond 1, every time we have an event, 
again, we, we talk about gun safety, the tragedy of gun violence, and equally so, what are those other options that you have? Because if you say no to something, you've got to say yes to something. Yes to family, yes to self-fulfillment, yes to being the best that you can do and be. So this partnership, again, is so very, very impactful that they hear the same message, whether in the classroom, from the counselor, from our SROs, from our community, from our parents, and that will sink in. And it has sunk in in terms of the difference that we can make. So again, we're proud to be here. We're proud to be a partner in this endeavor for the benefit of not only our kids today, but our community in the future. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. Next, we'll hear from Dr. Kim Moore, Superintendent of Richardson School District 2. Thank you, sir. Good morning. You know, it is an honor and a privilege to stand here in City Hall today to recognize the start of Smart Week. Like my colleagues have said, in education, we're about the business of educating students, which means helping students achieve and fulfill their goals. But we can't do that if the student is not there. Our motto in Richland School District 2 is that we are purpose driven, so our students are future ready. And I have parents right here on this front row that are parents in my school that are a part of Be Smart. And why is that so important? It's important because when we come together as a collective, then we can ensure that we help our students be future ready. And it's not just our responsibility in the schoolhouse. It's our parents, our community members. It is all of us together to ensure that we are getting this message out. Gun violence for me is a personal issue because I have a cousin who I used to babysit a bright young man who had finished his college degree and started his career as an engineer that was lost through gun violence. So when we talk about this issue, it not only strikes me as a professional, it resonates me, with me as a person, as a family member. Because as my colleague just said, when we lose a student, it impacts the entire school community. Not just for a day, not for a week, but for a lifetime. And our goal is to ensure that we create the best conditions for success for students to be successful and achieve their dream. That is why partnerships with organizations like Be Smart and Serve and Connect and the Decker Collective are critical because they are part of the village that is helping us to ensure our children can be future ready and have the opportunities that they have been blessed to be given. So with that, I say thank you to Be Smart. I say thank you to Cassie and Serve and Connect. I say thank you to the mayor and to our councilwoman and everyone else that's standing up here. Because without all of us and you, we will not give every child the opportunity to achieve their dream. Thank you. Okay, at this time, we'll have our mayor, Mayor Rickerman, to come and do the proclamation to be smart. Before I read the proclamation, I do want to take a minute just to recap. Think about this for a minute. Nine school districts, 16 law enforcement agencies, and four hospitals coming together with a group of volunteers and other folks like Serve and Connect, you've heard today, coming together to bring awareness. Think about it. People, places, and behavior. If we know those, then we can make Be Smart successful by identifying that, using it, 
using the programs that we exist and stacking this on top of it. It's the Handle with Care program that our officers deal with, working with our school districts, identifying when something happens in a family, making sure the school knows what's happening so that we can deal with the aftermath. Because all of us have had some touch with gun violence. We knew a friend or we had a friend or a family member, somebody, there is a connectivity. Using the lock program, being smart. You heard that said earlier, understanding where your kids are, understanding where your weapons are in your home, making sure they're locked up, not leaving them in your car or in your house unsecured. These are little measures that make a big difference. You heard those numbers. I don't want to be 28, folks. I want us to be 50. I want us to be at the bottom of the line as far back as we can. So we know we can make progress. And thank you, Be Smart, for what you continue to do and advocate. Thanks to all our partners here. Um, Tyler Bailey, our um, council member at large, has joined us here. Advocate to make sure that we're doing the right thing as a community. And with that, I want to take a moment to to present the proclamation to Be Smart. I don't know if you want to have your whole team come up or how you'd like to, to do that. And I'm not gonna read all the whereas, is I'm really gonna get into what's important, which is Smart Week raises awareness and promotes effects to educate the public about secure gun storage. The City of Columbia commends Be Smart, a program developed by Every Town for Gun Safety Support Fund and all involved in their endeavor to keep the community safe. So I, Daniel J. Rickman, on behalf of my city council members that are here and those who are not, want to present you with this proclamation, declare and be smart week. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Director, you want to round it out? Yep. So nothing really more else to say, except as you leave here, talk to your family, your friends, and encourage everybody to be smart. So as we talk about being smart, it's making sure that we're securing all of our firearms in your homes and in vehicles, modeling responsive behavior around guns, asking about the presence of unsecured firearms in homes of others who your children may visit, recognizing the role of guns and suicides, and again, telling your friends to be smart. Thank you all for being here today and enjoy the day.